Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is makeup basket time. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in here. Um, oh, I haven't used, I haven't used a lot of this because I have so darn much of it. I haven't used my Garnier one. Actually, that's in medium deep and I am pale as heck. So let's go for this Olay Fresh FX BB Cream. This is in Fair Light. And then I also have this guy. This is my chart. Tinted Treatment 12-Hour Primer. Oh, this is a primer. Okay, well, let's try the primer in light. And here we go. And this is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. And this isn't fair, so I'm going to use those. I'll have a foundation and, um, oh my gosh, my dog, and a BB cream and a primer. So that's good. So I'll go ahead and use those as far as concealer. This is my Laura Mercier um, Secret Camouflage. This is an SC3. And this has two colors. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. I like to have something creamy also. So I'll use my Ula Henriksen Perfect Truth CC Eye Cream. Ugh. And this is in Natural. So I got this is a deluxe sample size I got in like some Sephora order. I'm pretty sure. Uh, for a setting powder, I'll go ahead and... Hmm. I'll use my Physician's Formula BB, Super BB Powder. This is in light medium. Um, this will be going soon, so I just want to use that as much as possible. And for blush bronzer, um, this is the Urban Decay on the Run palette. If you guys want to see a review or a tutorial, swatches or anything, let me know. Um, I will be using the blush and bronzer here. I love these. Absolutely love them. Um, I'll go ahead and use this liner as well. And probably the gloss <laughs> um and this is an eyeshadow it does have some shimmer I'm not sure if you guys can see but um i also use this as a highlight for my cheekbones so i'll be using this whole palette but specifically for the blush and bronzer and let me see i'll go ahead and use my revlon photo ready skin lights in bare light 100 for a cream highlight now for a few other blushes I got this from my girlfriend, Jen, in our Makeup Declutter series, and this is Tarina Tarantino Coral Cameo, and I'm going to try this again. I really wanted to try it because I don't have anything Tarina Tarantino. This is so glittery, but she said it actually, and it's supposed to be like a bronzer or a highlight. There's no way, but she said it's really pretty as an eyeshadow. So this is a cream blush and then the eyeshadow, so I think I'm going to try this again and see if I can make it work. If not, I will be good and pass it on. Um, I think I'm also going to use Bali, which is a cargo blush. Let's see if I can actually open this guy. Really pretty. This is beautiful. Cargo has some awesome, awesome blushes. And I think, oh, I haven't used Cabana Boy in so long. Well, I think I'm going to use this Julep blush. This is a pore minimizing blush in Peach Bellini. It is so pretty. Look at that, guys beautifulness beautifulness right there so i'm going to use those for blushes i have highlighters concealers i always use my um banana powder from ben nye sometimes i don't but when i don't i show you guys oh my god i can't even oh here we go this blush is in the way i'm like i can't even open my drawer okay so just getting some palettes out of the way i'm going to be using the stila in the moment which i got from a, a subscriber friend of mine i don't even like saying subscriber friend because we've been emailing and communicating for a while now um and she's just really near and dear to my heart and um thank you so much girl so this is beautiful lots of beautiful purples and bronzes shimmers just gorgeousness and that liner um is like a purple color as well really pretty so I'm going to use that. And she also sent me all of these singles. We did like a little swap um, off camera. And these these three are Makeup Geek. This is one of the new foiled ones in Grand, Grandstand, I think. I believe I just had the names of these on the tip of my tongue. Of course, I cannot remember. That is really upsetting to me. These two, I'm not sure what brand they are, if they're just like kind of generic. They're so, so pretty. I can get like a whole look in this, but lately I have just been using like a fluffy blending brush and dipping it in both of these. Oh, amazing, so amazing. Um, so I'm gonna be using those for my eyeshadows. And, 
and I have that dark liner and then the purple liner, so I'm good with liners. And then for mascaras, okay, I did pull these out. Whoops, I did pull these two minis out. Um, not these two, these two. So these are new, the Urban Decay Perversion, and then the um, They're Real from Benefit. So these are newer ones. Um, let me go ahead and just pick these guys. Um, Voluminous Miss Manga from L'Oreal. That's actually in brown. And then I have these two, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and then Lights Camera Flashes. So these are all mascaras that are on their way out. So I'm just going to try them again, see how they're doing. Um, let me see here. Lips. What am I going to do with lips? Good Lord. Um, I recently took out my, oh, there's still one in here. Um, my color whispers from back here because I wasn't using them. So I think I'm going to, maybe I'll use Wild Orchid. This is really pretty from Revlon. Um, it's a nice, like, I don't know. I consider this like a neutral purple. Isn't that ridiculous that I consider that a neutral purple? <laughs> you can tell that I'm crazy. Uh, I think I'll try Piccadilly Pink. And I'm saying try, but obviously I've, I've had these lipsticks and I know what they're like, but I'm going to use it. That's a beautiful kind of, um, beautiful, 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 like, what is, what's it called? Mauvey kind of color. Um, I'll whip out this Maybelline Elixir in Petal Plush, which I love the elixirs. You guys know that. Um, I cannot stop using my Lime Crime Red Velvet for big events, so I don't know... I need to stop using that so much, but I can't. I think I'll try back to Fuchsia also. These uh, Rimmel Moisture Renew Line lipsticks are so nice. Love that. So I'll use that, and then let me grab a Color Whisper as well, uh, because I pulled them out for a reason. Strike a Rose. What are these guys? Berry Ready, I absolutely love. Look at Berry Ready. Look at that beautiful color. So I'm gonna grab that as well. So I'll put this away, shove those guys in my makeup basket, bring it back over for you guys. And then for nails, I am so behind on doing my nails, um, so I only picked one kind of pair. This is Sinful Colors in Out of This World 842. Sorry, I don't even think I was focused. And this is just like a thin, I could tell it's like a thin consistency, but it should be opaque with maybe two coats, maybe three. And this is silver and it does have some uh, shimmer, shimmer in there. Really, really pretty. And then this is a Julie G textured nail color in Ho Ho Ho. Um, and it's just so pretty and how about I show you guys? My gosh, it is so pretty. However, I thought it would be more red, but it's more of like a pink um, with like like a pink ruby kind of color with some red shimmer maybe, but really pretty. But I thought it would be a nice nail kind of mix, something a little bit different. Usually I do like the same color, you know, like two greens and one is an accent, you know, but yeah, that's it. So this is my makeup basket. I hope you guys enjoy. As usual, let me know what's on your face in the comments down below, what you've been loving or hating. And that's it. You guys stay beautiful, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.